In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I'm going to make a lot of money tonight at this parish. <laughs> One for the medical bill, and the other for suing you. <laughs> but anyway, we got the three kings finally lit up, lit up. All right. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's pause for a moment and tell Christ we're sorry for our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth shall adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. 
the kings of Arabia and Seba will bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help them. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel, the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to be shepherd to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, calling the Magi secretly, and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance, he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that had been seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with mother, Mary his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they re departed for their own their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the Feast of the Epiphany of the Lord, the manifestation of the Lord. Um, it's a great story, isn't it? Great story. Uh, it's not really important whether you think this is a historical reality that happened or it wasn't. It's still a great, great story. But it really wants to teach us something, not just and not just seeing that, that star up there. What was it, two, three weeks ago? When it was uh, Jupiter and Saturn, was it? Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter and Saturn came together and in the western sky, there was a great big star. There were really two planets. And I heard on the news, they said, a lot of people think that it was the star of the three kings. Oh, yeah, really? Well, first of all, it's two planets. And, uh, you know, it's, this hasn't happened in over 800 years. 
that these two things happened. March the 4th in 1200 and something, 1200, I wrote it down, 1200 and, 1200 and, I thought I wrote it down. Yeah, 1226, March 4th, 800 years ago. And it's like, that might have been the star that led the three kings to the child Jesus at Mary and Joseph. Well, I doubt it. But it doesn't make any difference. Well, first of all, there's a lot of things that doesn't make any difference. How do you know there were three kings? Because there's sort of three kings. Oh, no, be because I finally turned the light on three kings. Is that why you know that there's three kings? In medieval times, they, sometimes they had 12 kings. And then I read a long time ago, a long time, that there were five and there were eight. So there's three, five, eight, or 12 kings. Take your pick. Does that get you upset? If you said 12 and there are really three, or three and there are really 12? doesn't get me upset at all well you know and we know all this stuff we even know the names of the three Casper Melchior and Balthazar and we even know what they look like uh, the one was uh, a Casper was young beardless with a ruddy complexion hmm. Melchior was old and long white beard. And Balthazar was black skinned and had a heavy back black beard. See him up there, the tall one in the right? That's uh, Balthazar. Maybe the three is right because, well, you can only have them give one gift and there were three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, so then they had to be, otherwise they would have need 20 gifts. I'm sort of making fun of this, but that's not the point of the whole story. The point of the whole story is that Jesus came for the whole world, the whole world. Not just for the Jews, which he came to. And uh, later, he came for the Gentile world, too. That Saul or Paul said that's what Jesus came for. Educating the world. For all the world. He certainly didn't come for Catholics. There weren't any. He didn't come for Christians. There weren't any. They got named later. Some of these people followed him after he was 30 plus. So he came for everybody, north, south, east, and west. Everybody. He came for atheists, agnostics, and theists. Everybody. Um, and sometimes we don't act that way. You know, sometimes when you come to communion or in your prayer life, it's just you and Jesus. Jesus isn't just to come for you. He came from, for everybody. And we, we can't understand that too well. I think of all the terrible, terrible, terrible things going on with this pandemic, uh, COVID-19. I think the world is realizing if we're gonna get rid of this disease, we better all work together. And we all are connected together. And we're connected more than you realize. To one another. So if I wear a mask, I might wear it for you and you and you and you. And you wearing a mask, you 
You wear it for them. You wear it for me. We really, really connected, but that's sort of on the negative. Does it take the negative for us to realize when Jesus Christ said, you're so connected that that other person has equal dignity to you, and I love that person because I love all, so you can love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. So if you really are interested in the other dignity of the other person, I'm sorry, but I think you ought to wear a mask. And if I think that you ought to think, I might preach that, yeah, you ought to wear a mask before the other person. And we can see that. We can't all see that, can we? But many of us Christians, or many of us Catholics, we only, we only zero in on Jesus and me. Well, nothing's wrong with Jesus and me, but there's a lot more people than me. And I'm supposed to love a lot more people than me. It, the pandemic sort of does bring that out, that we all are connected. Well, Paul said we're like the body of Christ. Everybody is connected with Jesus, and so we're all terribly connected. And we're all created in the image and likeness of God, all like God. So in this little, these three little guys over here, big guys, the kings, they represent, it wasn't just in Jerusalem, it wasn't just in Bethlehem, but they come from the east to get and show that this Jesus is for all, including us. And Saul had a problem teaching the world that same thing, to, even to the fellow apostles. Should we, are they special? Yes, they're Gentile world. We're Gentiles. We're part of the all. But it, it, that awareness would make a whole new difference. And that's why I bring up the pandemic as far as sort of negatively. If everybody's just connected for themselves and so forth, it gets, keeps getting worse. If we all get connected and we know the dignity of one another and the love of one another, it gets better. Jesus came to all for all, so all will get better. And we have our little part to play. So these three guys coming from the east, or the 12 guys coming from the east, or the eight guys coming from the east, or the five guys coming from the east, who cares if we're, they came from the east and they represent all the other people coming to Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ went for all other people. And that's all there is. Please stand. I believe in one God, Father, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Trusting in the light 
that illumines our path towards the Father, we bring God to some of our prayers. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he continue to lead the church with wisdom and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world leaders, that they make laws that help the poor and afflicted in their nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all may offer their talents to God, just as the three kings offered their gifts to the Christ child, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we all continue to seek the Lord, just as the three, the three kings traveled to seek him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Pat, that each day he feels stronger and healthier as he recovers from pancreatitis, that the Lord may have pity on the sick and infirm of the parish and hold those deceased in his loving arms. We especially pray for the eternal joy of Frank and Rose Seppitz. We pray to the Lord. Ruler of nations, you light the earth and fill it with your blessings. Make your people a beacon of hope for all in the darkness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, on these gifts of your church in which we are offered now, not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, that it might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. Christ took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread 
and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, all the clergy and laity. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In honor of the three kings, I'll give you all a gift this evening. There are no announcements. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.